Hello, crypto world. It's your boy, Muddy Mo, aka Mr. Bean. Coming at y'all again with another. Oh, no, 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 no. This new today. We got an AMA coming with none other than Bank Teller himself, the creator, developer, and founder of Elephant Money. All right, all right, all right. How y'all feeling today? Yes, sir. Pull up, pull up, pull up. We got Bank Teller already ready in the background. I think we're ready to go, y'all. So we're going to have a good time today. Again, we're going to have an AMA um, covering from front to back all about elephant money, where we are with the trunk pig, where we are with Bertha, where we are with all kind of stuff. We're going to have a man on himself uh, to be able to describe in detail exactly what's going on. All right. Now, if you don't know me, I am Muddy Mo. Hello. <laughs> I am your uh, your friendly DeFi liaison, or I'll be your tour guide on this uh, on this AMA today. So I'm excited to have y'all here, and I just want to go a couple go over a couple things before I bring Bank Teller on. Shout out to the chat, y'all know how we are now with this AMA. It's a little bit different than most. Um, typically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna a lot of chat. This is all about the people over here. Y'all know Muddy Mo. I get the people what they want. We get the people what they want. Um, so please, if you're in the chat, please feel free to ask questions um, and stay active. You know, we'll be asking you know a lot of things of Bank Teller, um, and I want to make sure I keep it all in one place. So I'm happy to have you all aboard. Um, also, also, as we're doing this, please heard all the people in the Muddy Crypto movement. Um, if you would, every time Elephant is bought, I want y'all to put a bing, put that in the chat for me. Every time Elephant is bought during this whole AMA. I just want y'all to put a, a good old bing in the chat for me. That's what that's what I want y'all to do. All right, real quick. Bank Teller, hold tight. He ready, y'all. Hold on. Hold tight, y'all. Now, let me run through a couple things. I want to show y'all the site a little bit, and then we're going to run, run through a couple things before we get Bank Teller on, because um, I know y'all going to want to get right to it and want to hit a man. All right? So let me get my screen together. All my vets, all the people who know. All y'all who know Money Mo know it's going to take. Let me get my stuff together. Y'all know I got to get the screen together. How y'all doing today, man? What's new? What's new? What's going on? Y'all feeling good? Y'all excited for Bank Teller to come up? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. There we go. All my people pulling up real quick. Let me work real quick. Let me check the chat out. Oh man, so y'all lit today. Shout out to my listen, shout out to the mud crypto movement, all my mud captains. Y'all please take care of the chat for me. Um, y'all know we're gonna be all into a bank teller. Um, but shout out to all my people. I see Hurt. I see Gregory. I see GD. All the day ones. I see y'all in there too. Uh, what up, Secret Agent? What's going on? Gregory, uh, yo, yo, say that. SK. What up, SK? Daniel Johnson. Woo. Yeah, we got our people up in here today. Johnny Zig. What's going on, Johnny Zig? We got my man Levi. Y'all know Mud Captain. Levi. Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, okay, so all right, y'all come in. Please let us know y'all here, man. Uh, we want to make sure y'all we hear from y'all. We want to make sure we hear from the people, all right? This is about y'all and what y'all want to know for Bank Teller. I know y'all excited, right? All right, real quick, let me get it up. Let me get it up. Pause. <laughs> oh, let's do it. I'm so excited today, y'all. Man, it's a good day. It's a good day. We're going to talk about elephant money today, y'all. All right, there it is. All right, B. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Cortez Crypto said B. Yes, sir. We getting started already. I already know what time it is. All right, let's do it. So without any further ado, I know he's waiting in the background. He's right in the background right now. Before I get into this, please make sure y'all hit that like. Don't pull up and don't hit that like. Hit that like. Also, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe. I do this. You know what I mean? Hit that subscribe and then slap that bell right next to it. Um, also, in the link in the description of this video, there's going to be all the information that you're going to need to be able to join Elephant Money. So if you're interested in Elephant Money, interested in Elephant Token, a trunk staking, a peanuts, whatever you like, it's going to be all right here. All right. Um, so also, real quick, before I get going, um, in the description is also the link tree, my, my link tree. Um, you're going to get my contract address. Go ahead. If you want to join the herd, you want to be on Team Money in the herd? Y'all know how I talk, yo. You got to be under the relevant. You're going to get rained on. Uh, make sure y'all go. I'm going to show you right now before we get back to on. Make sure y'all go to the airdrop right here. Uh-oh. My bad. <laughs> no, not that. See, I'm messing up already. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right. We're going to go right here to the herd partner network. I got you. Y'all see that? Y'all going to get your own referrals. If y'all go ahead and put my address in, you'll put my address here. And that's it. All right. So without further ado, today's main, main subject, main guy, our main man. 
none other than Bank Tell. Let's get him on up here, y'all. Let's get Bank Tell up here. Hold on, y'all know my y'all know my computer moves slow. Bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> I got y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it. There he is. There he is. Bank Teller, welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you, man. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Am I coming in loud and clear? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. All right. What's going on, man? And thank Apple for that. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's a good day, man. I'm clapping it up already. Look, I'm happy already because I know, man, it's a lot of people that's excited to hear from me, man. It's just some good times, good things going on with Elephant Money. Um, so how you feeling today? What's new? I'm good. I'm good. I'm coming off of uh, my birthday is like August 9th. What time is it? 25th? Like, I mean, like perpetual birthday, which for me was like the first week was kind of lit. But then other than that, I'm just like, okay, am I pushing code? If I'm not pushing code, then I'm still on my birthday. <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah. like, I've been working. Celebrate like, that birthday, man. Going to get it in. <laughs> have fun, man. It wasn't fun. I no have good. There's a web, there's a like literally all I had to do is just push the front page. I redesigned the front page, okay. same theme, but like professionally, you know, laid out, organized the same message, like pretty much everything that's said on the, the same home page, but like with just a professional layout. And it's literally taking me forever to get that out because I'm just like, I'm just so relaxed right now, I'm feeling Ugh. so good. Okay. You know, about like everything that's going on, like, um, yeah, you know, literally, yeah, I'm just feeling so good that I'm just like, ah, oh, I don't the, do I do it? I don't even do anything. Can I just, like, can <laughs> I just, and hey, you know, can what? I throw away keys now? No, I, no I'm an, I would right, not right. <laughs> Listen, we already know how that story ends. No, like, <laughs> there'll be like a bug on day two. Right, I'll nah. throw away the keys. Day two, ah, new bug. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been a long couple months, and I think um, a lot of us, just like you, man, we're taking a big breath right now. We're just happy um, that you're in good spirits, first and foremost. Um, so before we get into it, man, we know, you know, you said you're working on the UI. We know a whole bunch of other stuff you got going on. Uh, before we get into it, you know, here at Muddy Mo, I like to slow it down a little bit. So let's take a step back. Let's slow down a little bit. So now, for all the people who are just getting introduced to Bank Teller BT, um, tell us a little bit about how we got here. Now, not just with this contract, but even with Party and Bankroll and all those other platforms. How did we get here? I mean, I mean, long story short, you yeah. know, little fit, little Philly kid, you know, coding since he was ten, chess champion, cross country, you know, oh, science fairs and shit. <laughs> oh, winner! Look at that. <laughs> Look, when you active, he was active. Now you said you was a chess champion. Okay. Now you said coding at 10. What did you do at 10 years old? What was your first code? Uh uh basic. Okay. Basic was my first language. Uh nice. Nice. And I did I did that on um the Apple 2E. That was the first <laughs> machine I coded basic on. I don't know how many people know what Apple 2E was. Man, you were a child prodigy, man. So look at that. That's definitely get some money mo. <laughs> yeah, all them years of experience, man. That's dope, man. That's dope. Very, very yeah. Dope. Like my like the like the the equivalent of like not even I wouldn't even say say I wouldn't even say elephant, but like you know uh, bankroll flow. My first bankroll flow was like my uh, I did a um, a paint program that was way more sophisticated than Microsoft Paint. Mm. Uh, it, it did textures like you get you get. Like it did textures, right? And you can select the foreground and the background. Okay. Okay. And do a, and do a fill and do a fill. So you can like so you can like pick an area that's like closed off, or you can select the area that's closed off. You could do a fill and you can select the foreground and the background with different mm. colors. Man, listen, like <laughs> born he born to do this. Y'all hear this? Y'all hear this? Born to do it, man. I love that. I love it. I love it. But like they, they didn't have like okay, so this is like back in the day, they didn't have that shit for like Microsoft Paint couldn't do that. It couldn't do it couldn't do textures at all. 
So right. Microsoft Paint didn't do textures at all and like it had textures. So that so I'm like, I was mad excited. So so Man, like, you basically should've, I, you should have sold that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's whatever, you know, it's just just for fun. All that good stuff, but it is what it is. Got you, got you. So that's dope, man. Again, we're dealing with a child project. We like that. Now, moving forward a little bit, we know you um, had some some good college experiences and then some good professional life experiences before you did DeFi full time. Um, tell us about that a little bit, just quick, real quickly. Um. So, um, like I said, um, I applied to what? I applied to a bunch of schools, basically Carnegie Mellon, mm -hmm. MIT. Harvard mm. and Brown. And I, I actually live in I actually live in Rhode Island, so I'm okay. pretty salty about Brown. Brown put me on the fucking wait list. Mm. Harvard put me on the fucking wait list, actually. Mm. And like I was like motherfucker, like I'm like destroying motherfuckers. I'm like the I'm like the the tri-state champion in fucking New England. Get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> you know, all this shit. And yeah, you know, you didn't deny me. Deny me, like fuck you. Like, uh, no, I had a, I, I had a problem because uh, I didn't like to study or actually do anything with it. So like, every like I pretty much coasted through high school. I didn't okay. really study at all. I might even copy like like friends of mine's homework and shit. <laughs> See, but, hold on, now you you sounded far yeah. away right now. But now I know that if you were that good, listen, you applying all these Ivy League schools, MIT. <laughs> if you did all that on little effort, man, I want to see what you can do with some effort. That's crazy, man. Exactly. And so, like now, I'm doing the effort and what? Kick your fucking Bitcoin's ass. <laughs> okay, hey, we gonna talk we're about kicking, that. <laughs> we're literally kicking Bitcoin's ass, like, like, like they, like you know, since the start of the year till now, we have been trouncing the whole market like and this is after the exploit and all that shit mm. literally wow see see hold on bc you jumping ahead of me now hold on i slow down but that's okay 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 now look there you sound sound better there yeah no yeah you jumping ahead of me yeah but okay okay we'll talk about uh bitcoin some other tokens as well uh, i want to kind of compare it a little bit later but yeah thank you for that okay now um jim tune in the chat said um you know, he was talking about um, you should mention um, that you were one of the lead devs for an institutionally um, a trading comp platform, basically. Tell us a little bit about that on a professional okay, side. Okay, so, 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 uh, so, you know, so I, I didn't really work that hard in college, um, you know, or, or high school even. Um, I just had a really bad work ethic. I didn't actually get my work ethic back until – State Street. So State Street is a, a, a major institutional firm in the United States, which manages, you know, um, core assets worldwide. Okay. But uh, uh, I was part of their uh, global markets um, division. And so that's foreign exchange. So I, uh, FX Connect is their core product. And literally what I built with... Um, with uh, one of my my best buds that I met like back in Net Numina. So like so what happened was I I was I was uh, working for a MIT startup. Okay. Uh, who was the MIT, the MIT startup was uh, Virtual Inc. Which was a they literally had like it was a solution for excuse me. It was, a, it was a solution for uh, basically transcribing whiteboard notes, hmm. and they use echolocation for that. Okay. And I work with a, a PhD uh, to get to do the to do the handwriting recognition hmm. for 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 those notes. So basically, I was I was doing handwriting recognition, helping you know people write like freaking patents for handwriting recognition. We got I think we got the patent actually. So um, yeah, but 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 I was making fifty thousand dollars a year, and I, I was talking to my director of engineering. I was like, hey, you know I'm, I'm you know I'm 
you know, I'm out here. I'm I'm out. I'm out here running the streets. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm out here running the streets. Uh, you know, after uh, after dark. Uh, right. I know you're probably going to be like, hey, hold on, fifty thousand ain't enough. I need some money in my hand. Y'all gotta do something. I know. I know the feeling. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So. Very good. So now. From all of those experiences, and I'm just kind of want to sum up all of those experiences that you had as as far as a career person. Um, what did you like least, and what basically led you over here to DeFi? Uh, and BT might have put off for a second, y'all. Oh, also, you're watching. Listen, you're watching the AMA with Bank Teller. All right, from Elephant Money. Make sure y'all hit that like. There's no freeloading. Hit that like. Also, hit that subscribe if you haven't. Also, if you're interested in Elephant Money, the link is in the description of this video. All right. Also, um, check out uh, my Telegram. Check out my Telegram, Muddy, the Muddy Crypto Movement. Y'all know we move in the Muddy Crypto Movement. All right. I think Bank Teller had to step away for a second. Um, but how y'all feel? Let me check this chat out. Y'all know how I do with the chat. While we wait on Bank Teller, I, I think he had some uh, come up real quick. Uh, let me see what we talk about in that chat, man. Talk to me in the chat. Also, again, if y'all see any Elephant token buys during, the, during this AMA, please put a B. Go ahead, put that in the chat. All right. Uh, Gregory said, <laughs> a program to recognize handwriting. <laughs> Frick, is this Tony Perkins or Tony Stark? <laughs> right on. Good, good comment, Greg. Good comment. Uh, big, big elephant guy there. Shout out to Greg. Uh, Shane Luno said, Luno said, good to see you taking the AMA seriously, BT. <laughs> it's all good, Shane. Relax, relax. We're going to get to all the stuff that y'all want to talk about. I got you. I got you. Uh, <laughs> look at Cookie say, yeah, we, <laughs> we kicking big quack. Yeah, coming at the Bitcoin. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, now look at this. Look at this. When trunk pig. Oh, calm down. Calm down. It's coming. It's coming. Don't panic. <laughs> You're in the right place. All right. Let's see. What SK said after supply shock. Okay. Okay. But yeah, y'all definitely leave some comments, man. Talk to me in that in the comments section. Um, Adrian said, don't worry about the pig. Zoom out, man. Facts. Facts. See. See. There we go. That's what. That's exactly. I think where we are with it right now. Um, and we're going to ask Bank Teller everything that y'all want to know. Um, and especially, you know, some things from a her perspective, you know, how we should be viewing this stuff. Uh, but good, good comment there. Good comment. Look at her. <laughs> her says, BT cooking some ramen or something. I don't know. <laughs> he better not be eating no ramen noodles. He better not. <laughs> I don't know. He just had to step away for a second. Um, but yeah, make sure y'all hit that like too. No freeloading. Hit that like. Y'all know also, um, check Money Mo out. You know, I do the, uh, the, the Deep Out the Jenner show. Um, all my crypto movement, y'all know how it is, man. We talk about this stuff. You know, I'm I'm honest. We here for the people. All right, this time we got BT back. BT, you back, man? Hey, uh, can you hear me? Yep, yep. He much better, much better. I I wasn't cooking ramen. I was grabbing Wendy's from downstairs. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so now, um, yep. Yeah, finish yeah, up with the career side. Um. So. Yeah, so so uh, basically, twenty five years in in fintech, and um, you know, spent a significant time at at, at uh, State Street, and was doing um, mainly forex trading, forex trading systems, real time, um, real time um, price reporting and stuff, um, which I did both at, which I did both at. State Street and Fidelity. Okay. But but yeah, it's um you know, I've been I've basically been in the financial fintech sector, you know, and working closely with also Amazon, mainly Amazon, but like you know, being at the forefront of uh cloud computing as well. You know, for example, like you know, Fidelity, most of their data centers are shut down now. Hmm. And now everything's running on Amazon. You know, yeah. there's a couple of just some small infrastructure infrastructure is still running, but most of that stuff is running on Amazon right now. And that that wasn't the thing before I got started. I was the first. I was the CTO at Fidelity, so there was like the main CTO at Fidelity, but then there was like maybe like one or two small CTOs at different divisions. Like, so Fidelity is like made up of like seven different organizations or companies. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but uh, but I was I was brought on to uh, build a FidSafe, which was the main sort of document store. So regardless of whatever division you're messing with, you know, you can store your personal documents and, you know, fidelity related documents at FidSafe. And that was all working on Amazon and not, no. not in the standard data centers. And so that was like, that was like the, that was the first master service agreement with fidelity to um, Amazon and the rest is history. Nice. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. So now, going forward into our neck of the woods. Now, we know you discovered DeFi, and we know you probably never looked back since. So, you know, I'm an OG vet like you. I've been around for many, many years, and I actually remember this project. So, real quickly, not long, um, but I know you started with Party, right? Uh, so, tell us a little bit how you got to where we got to Elephant Money from Party, Bankroll, and so forth and so on. Okay. So, for Party, that's really simple. Like, there's a project called uh, P3D, hmm. um, which is still running. It's still yep. running on chain on Ethereum. Mm -hmm. And um, there have been clones of it. I mean, there's been like, I mean, <laughs> there's a rich <laughs> DeFi history of, of P3D clones. <laughs> <laughs> so, Go ahead and talk that talk, man. So, like, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, major celebrity figures like Trevon James or whatever, mm. you know, like P3D was a great contract because like, all you gotta do is like, you grok a couple of uh, variables mm -hmm. and you have a whole new contract and you have a whole new way that the algorithm behaves. Mm -hmm. But my, my main take on P3D was like, wow. You can pay a whole bunch of people in a single transaction. Okay, yeah, yeah. People like, like, like. Uh, I mean, because I, you know, I at that point I was in, you know, I've been in fintech like twenty years, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, paying out a single endpoint, a single account, paying out n number of accounts or all accounts in a single transaction. That's like unheard of, like. Mm -hmm. And so, like, people were like making all forget the price action or anything like that. It's more just the simple fact of distributing money. That was the aha moment. Gotcha. And that was and proof of weak hands. It was on Ethereum, I believe, right? I was on Ethereum. Yep. Yep. Cool. So then from there, you came on to party, right? Mm hmm. So, yes. Yeah. So, 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 just though in Manso. Mm -hmm. their contribution to the world was basically having that, being able to dis distribute that um, mm -hmm. dividend, if you will, on a real-time basis. Distribute that dividend in real time to everyone in a single transaction. Wow. That was their contribution to the world. Mm -hmm. But they discounted that because they were more concerned about the price action. Why? Because everybody's concerned about making money. Yep. Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. So we had party, right? And I, I was in P3D and I was in party. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm talking from experience. So the, the main lesson we learned from party, real quick. Uh, party, party was the birth of the stack contract, which was basically neutering P3D. So P3D still had price action at a price equation. Mm -hmm. I took the price equation out and I said, Let, let's make it dollar for dollar. Let's make it a stable contract. So whatever asset you put in to a, a stack contract, mm -hmm. you would get that out based on how long you stayed in and what dividends you were able to accrue from fees that were collected on buys and sells. Got it. As got opposed it. to influencing the price on buys and like in, buys and sales don't influence the price. They just influence the dividends you receive. And so that's where the stack contract is. And the stack contract still stands to this day a standard infrastructure for lots of DeFi projects. 
not just uh, mine. Yeah, a lot of projects, a lot of projects. We'll talk more about some other projects in just a moment. Now, moving forward, <clears throat> I don't want to go through all these. I know you, <laughs> we had a lot of ups and downs and learning through uh, through the Bankroll Network, especially on the Tron uh, blockchain. So tell us a little bit about Bankroll and some of those contracts that you took from to get us the elephant money. So Bankroll, I guess um, Bankroll started out with like a a, a um, standard ROI contract, and I tried to I tried to so with all of these popular contracts, I try to like make them safe. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and a standard um, uh, miner slash ROI contract, it's impossible to make that safe. That's basically a First in, first out. Um, that's a first in, first out. Um, Ponzi, if you will. There's nothing you can do about a mi all minor contracts are Ponzi. Like so, like if you haven't heard it, if you haven't heard it yet, you heard it here first. All Ooh, minor contracts. Hold are on, man. Tell me you heard. It. Hold on, you heard you back in spirits. Hold on. All minor contracts are Ponzi's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you, I, that includes a drip <laughs> garden. That includes a drip garden where I'm a I'm a, I'm like the 18th largest whale in drip garden. Mm. So yeah, we're it's gonna talk about some other contracts that you're in. Um, but yeah, so basically, you what you're saying is you learned through this that basically <laughs> those types of contracts um, aren't as long term as what you got with Elephant Money. Is that what I'm taking from it? Right, right, right. correct. Cool. Very good, very good. All right, so let's take a step forward. Now we, I think we moved up. Now we passed all the bankroll stuff. We didn't do bankroll. Actually, hold on. Let me take a second to talk about the bankroll flow. I think that's one so, contract that um, is very, very <laughs> obvious that you know it's around the space a lot. Um, but just tell us about you know bankroll flow. I know this was the last thing before we jumped to the elephant. Um, mm -hmm. I think so. Um, please just to describe what bankroll flow was and how it's used today. I mean, if I want to keep it as simple as possible, yep. Flow is the father to drip, mm. uh, Furio, mm. Ooze, mm. Stampede, mm. Mm, pretty much everything out there is 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 a derivative of flow, a derivative of drip, drip being like how how do I how do I say this? Like okay okay, so I'll say it like this. So, so flow was the grandfather, drip was the son. Drip got his groove on and just kind of like ran the streets, uh huh, with lots of lots of little floozies. <laughs> uh -huh. Keep going, don't stop. <laughs> and, then, and that's why we have all these clones. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a money mo bing. So you basically saying, as the creator, as the only developer for Bankroll Flow, you're the granddaddy of all these other contracts in so many words. Is that what you're saying? You know it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. We got a lot of stuff to get into. All right. Um. So now we move into Elephant Money. Um. I know you started <laughs> with BDO, and I know you said, "Hey, forget all that," and you created oh, an elephant as a reflect token to start. Um. So walk us back to where your head was when you got started that, and you know how we came up with Elephant Money. So, so Elephant Money started out as a series of uh, <coughs> excuse me, stack contracts. Mm -hmm. Most successful stack 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 contract on uh, Tron. And Tron blockchain with oh. Justin Sun mm -hmm. was credits. And so there were a lot of credits clones. And they all died. Literally, all the credits clones died. Like all of them. Mm. There's not one credits clone that is still alive today. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that so might you kept it move. You kept it zigging when you're supposed to be, you know, when they were zagging, you were zigging. You were trying to figure out something else. And then you came up with Elephant. Right. Well, not just that, but like literally, they copied the exact verbatim contract, and it just wouldn't work. And why is that? Yeah. 
It's because what elephant money is, is not just the code or what bankroll was, was not just the code. It's the community. It's the community that we've grown over the past five years. Mm. That is, that's the secret. That's the secret. Like literally have like, like money, man, money, man. Like, oh, uh, oh, oh shit. Apologies, but not apologies. Everybody, everyone knows. Everyone knows. So, they tell you, must be, what you got a spicy chicken, a, a, a double stack. What you got right now? That sounds good, bro. Our, yeah, yeah, I got, I got all that. I, I mean, how do you know? <laughs> like, no, all that. Like, he, he, what he was, he's, he's been the he's been the largest whale. That literally has followed us from one project to the next, from from um, from party to bankroll to elephant. Money man has been there, mm -hmm. and people were calling him Money Man before any of this shit existed. Mm. So you know, got it. Um, and uh, so that's our largest holder and stuff, and. And um, the rest is history. Like, it, it literally, you can't, like, you can try to start something, but if you don't have, like, an equitable distribution, first of all, like, you have a private sale, mm -hmm. but you don't have an equi equitable distribution, or if you have a, like, a, where we have is, we had our uh, liquidity event, so it wasn't quite a, pro it was public, it wasn't a private sale, it was, like, open to anybody, and you know, people can contribute what they want. Okay. And now this is the uh, initial liquidity sale. You're talking involving a graveyard, right? Yeah, that includes the graveyard and everything. Like, so. Right there. Yep. So all it's of public that. and anybody could have bought in. Mm-hmm. Good, good. And we have a very, and like, there's no super whales. And when I, when I was a whale, it was because I bought in when the price was really depressed. Ah, uh, so you actually out of pocket, you tapped them pockets. You actually paid out of pocket and bought your own own spot or wherever you are, right? Twice. Woo. So when it was super cheap, I bought up to, to twenty one. I, I bought up to twenty one mil, twenty one trillion. But then I decided when I was at twenty one trillion, I was like. And I just looked at the distribution of everyone else. I was just like, "This isn't right. I need I need to be down with the with everyone else. With like this, this is this is the herd. This is the herd. This is equal. I can't be more than the largest holder." So you could have welled up, basically did what a lot of devs do, and pretty much own all of this contract. Instead, mm -hmm. you said, "Hey, no, let me give." Let me let me make sure this is fair for everybody. That's what I'm hearing, right? Exactly. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, style. You know, um, I could have I could have done that, but I was like, I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. Ooh, you name dropping. I like it though. I like it. Name dropping. Yes, sir. But on the, I like that too, Banks. I think, um, you know, especially you know what I do in, in my movement and my influencing. The main thing is being transparent, honest, and um, just like you said, you know, what you're doing with Elephant Money, building a herd, a community. Um, that's dope, man. It definitely gets some money more. Bing! Also, make sure you hit that like. Y'all watching the AMA with Bank Teller from Elephant Money. Hit that like. All right. <laughs> My bad, Bank Teller. All right, now. Um, so, fast forward a little bit. You talked about how I got started. Um, I'm at the Elephant Token. Now, let's kind of go back. Um. So we know there was some success early in the project, right? Um, and then what happened? Kind of walk me through it. Um, essentially, the system itself, the elephant token itself is rock solid. Okay. The elephant token in, in, in the course of like since inception to where we are now, including the exploit, the elephant token has never changed. Okay. The trunk token has never changed. But both of those tokens facilitate 
building an ecosystem around them. Mm-hmm. And whoops, sorry. And the reserve contract, this is responsible for minting a redemption of trunk tokens while also paying out the redemption for those to- trunk tokens with BUSD and Elephant was flawed. So the name is turned, you're saying the Elephant Treasury, right? In the first version of it. Well, the Elephant Treasury is like a, a, a sort of passive component. It's okay. just a bucket. Gotcha. But above that bucket is like a strainer, if you will, and siphon, if you will. Okay. That takes in BUSD, Elephant, Trunk, and BNB. Gotcha. Gotcha. So now, you know how I do, man, until I get to the nitty gritty. You know what I mean? We had some good, like, conversation earlier. But now, you know, I get to the, what the people, they got questions. Um, and I know that, you know, you can make everybody kind of feel better about where we are today. Um, so in Lambie's turn, there was an exploit. Um, and um, you did a lot of uh, talking about it. You talked about it. You were very transparent through the medium, right? So I guess my question is, where are we today with the exploit? Let's get, yeah, and that's still, we're still in the past, so. Yep. So, so basically, from an exploit perspective, you know, we were robbed of eleven million dollars, which wasn't just eleven million dollars because we pay out. The way the system works is this kind of scrapes off the top of the value of the elephant that's stored in the elephant treasury, okay. that is stored in Bertha, as most of the, most of us know. So the issue is. If you just look at the previous parabolic curve before the exploit, Mm -hmm. we're going to do that again, except hopefully if I've crossed all my I's and dotted all my T's, that that curve will just keep going up into the moon or to Mars or to the edge of the universe, whatever. Out of here. We we want it out of here. (laughs) I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Very good. So um, and I'm, yep, and I'm just looking yep. at the, the the previous chart of where it was before. Um, everybody in the herd and everybody here around is talking about the p word, parabolic. Um, and you see, you know, we had some parabolic action before. Um, and you kind of see where the exploit happened. Um, so so kind of going back to that. Um, now, based on you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. We heard some things. You know, we know here. I'm here at the uh, the in the medium article where you've been very transparent about the whole situation. Pretty much letting everybody know step by step what's going on in detail. You <laughs> know, so um, that's dope. Um, before we know the FBI was contacted and, and other things like that. Um, some people have been it's been some little birdies saying it's been some some action going on. Is there anything you want to talk about with that? Uh for sure. So um the the attacker. Who executed these? Um, who executed the the ha- the ha- the exploit against us? Mm-hmm. Flash loan exploit against us was able to retrieve eleven million dollars U.S. at the time, and um, I don't know what the exact U.S. value is now, but either way, he's just he or she or they. Mm-hmm. Let's get our pronouns right. Um have decided to start moving the funds. Okay. And I personally think, Mm -hmm. why did they execute the attack in the first place? They they don't want us to succeed. It's not about just making money because it's not about just making money. They just don't want us to succeed. And now that we're, okay, thank you for exposing all our defects. We fixed them all and we're, we're going to continue doing what we're trying to do because we're actually trying to change people's lives for the better for all time. 
mm-hmm. considering everything that's coming on, all the externalities that are coming on. You know, the the greatest generation in World War II, what did they give us? They gave us global stability, never existed before in the history of all mankind. We had global stability. From global stability, we got supply chains. Because when there's stability, then you can you can depend on Peter paying Paul. Mm. Mm-hmm. Without global stability, you can't depend on Peter paying Paul. You can do a lot more when you can depend on Peter paying Paul. That's gone. So mm. we're back to the arm's length of human existence, not the fingernail, where you couldn't depend on Peter to pay and Paul. And so now we got to do everything. Now, now what's happening? They just released the uh, the last, the latest bill. Uh, I think it was called the Inflation Act or something like that. Mm-hmm. That was just passed in, in the U.S. Congress. Yep. That bill is just to build chips in the Midwest because we can no longer rely on be able to get those from Taiwan. Mm-hmm. Taiwan is such a hot, hot spot right now that we can't, we just simply cannot rely on it being there. We've already got a taste. We've already got a taste of what it means for that not to be there. What a taste of what it means is if you want an iPad, if you want a, a laptop from Apple, you have to wait months. You got to put a, put in a reservation. If you want a, mm-hmm. your favorite car, you just can't get it. You know? Yep. So basically, this is, I'm simple. You know that, man. So I'm simple. He sure. says, so the way I put it is, I'm going to say it like this. It sounds like you figured out, <laughs> uh, what is it? Funds for all, money for some for all. Money for all. Something it sounds like that. Cash for all. Cash flow for all, at least. Is that mm-hmm. right? Okay. That's it, man. That definitely gets some money more. Bing! That's Bay Teller. That's crazy. And I don't think people understand the significance of what you build in here. You know what I mean? I think <laughs> to you to even take that approach, I think everybody likes that. And I think that's dope. So to move forward, um, because you know, we don't like the people who did that. Um, and we heard some things about Tornado Cash. We know what's going on with Tornado Cash right now. Um, is there anything else you can tell us as far as you know finding out who that person or those persons might be? So I, I I literally talked to the FBI today. Mm. Um, there's no one coming to save us. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There's no <laughs> so there's no no help coming through that door. Nobody's walking through that door. So we got to move so, forward. It sounds like to me, bank teller. Um, so so yeah. yeah, exactly. And so when your favorite YouTuber, your favorite influencer, your favorite community member says, you know, protect your keys, do this, do that, hardware wallet, all that stuff. It is what it is. That is it. That that is what it is. Like, you know, there zero sympathy if you don't follow those basic instructions. You know, like mm-hmm. um, and, you know, you can enjoy a thousand x gains versus point zero zero one percent on your freaking savings account for your bullshit job. Fuck that! Like, no, you you want to have those gains? Do your research. Do your own research. Do like understand how to fucking hold a sword. Understand how to hold your shield and understand what a parry looks like. If you can't do those basic things, just stay poor. Got you. And you know what? My one of my favorite movies is 300. Lift your shield. <laughs> you can't lift that shield. You gotta lift that shield right now. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, some of the stuff that's going on in the present time. Uh, but thank you for that. I think, you know, as a space to herd and just not only just that auto promo, everybody in the community, we need to get over that. Um, and I, we, that we're going to talk about the treasury and some other things going on. I think we can get past that. So thank you for the explanation. Um, I know they're asking questions in the chat. Um, you got all the details. He just gave you all the details. You know what I mean? Like, lift your shield. 
<laughs> All right, my right so shot, right, Let me know. So that's on the ground game. That's on the ground game. But let okay. me take let me take some responsibility as a freaking general, if you will. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Now, I, yeah. Now. Now. They hit us with the flash loan. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we had certain defenses in place. Like, you, you heard about these flash loans before. Usually when you hear about these flash loans, these flash loans take a protocol out of zero. Oh, yeah. Can you, can you name ha- a couple protocols that's been taken to zero that you can think of? Uh, oh, Jesus. Just, like, just a couple, uh, not... not... <laughs> You you might be better like you know like at the end of the day I'm just trying to keep it moving. Gotcha. Um, Let's keep it's it been moving. a while. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. I, I I don't quite remember. Um, but like uh, I can speak from personal experience. Uh, Titan was one of them, <laughs> and the mm. biggest one for me. And, and Mark Cu- Mark Cuban was part of that one. Woo! And <laughs> and that one went to zero. Oh goodness! <laughs> and that was a stable coin. That was is like verbatim. Trunk was born from Titan. Trunk was born as a fix for what Titan did. I literally looked at the Titan code before I started coding Trunk. So, Trunk was born from my experiences with Titan, where mm-hmm. you know I put almost two million dollars that I had earned over the course of three years. Almost four years from um, from party and bankroll, and even uh, a certain amount from elephant money, because you know ultimately that those that dollar equivalent was converted from B and B that I had stored in the stock contracts for elephant. Okay. So, yeah. Got you, got you, got you. You need to protect yourself. Got to protect yourself. Gregory uh, from the chat said, uh, love that 300 uh, movie reference. This is D5. This is D5. Love that, Gregory. <laughs> also, y'all watching AMA with Bank Teller from Elephant Money. Hit that like. Make sure y'all hit that like. All right, now moving forward, Bank Teller. I'm about to pull up the chart. Now, let's talk about present time, where we are today. Um, I got the chart. This is the Elephant B&B chart, I believe. Yes. So now, tell it. Now, we... You know, we're going to talk about the pig in just a second, but tell us, let's talk about the elephant token right now. Where are we today? Where is Bertha today? And then let's transition that into peanuts and how that's working out the raffle. Okay. So, um, basically, the formula that has always been working has always been there, which is simply if you buy elephant, you're pulling that elephant token out of two liquidity pools. And those liquidity pools are backed by BNB and BUSD, backed by the third largest cryptocurrency and backed by the best performing currency in the world, which is the US dollar. So, and what that means is the reason that we have those two is because when the world's best cryptocurrency fails for whatever reason, Mm -hmm. you can take the world's best performing currency period and buy back that token on the cheap and raise the price and and create equilibrium again. Got you. So now, you you brought this up earlier. Let's talk about it now real quick. I know I have the Elephant BUSD chart up. Um, It's looking rather green. (laughs) If I say so myself, it's looking rather green. Um, you compared, I believe it was elephant to Bitcoin, right? Is mm-hmm. elephant better than Bitcoin to you? Just straight up. Yes, because mm. Bitcoin is based on the whales and sentiment. Okay. And you know, oh, overall, like just belief collectively. Yeah. Elephants based on math. And there's a built-in backstop. There's like, the math says every single purchase should ratchet it up. The math also says, the math and the architecture also says that every single purchase should um, create a 
8% backstop as well. Add extra padding so that the price can't fall back down. And that's how Elephant works. Gotcha. And and I'm just, you know, lame as terms for me. <laughs> Regular dude talk. Um, so basically, and all that's in the background is functionable because of the success of Bertha and those reflex tokens off of Bertha. Is that right? That's correct. Gotcha. Gotcha. Loving it. No, that's a goodie. That's a goodie. Okay. Let's keep it going. See, I'm getting excited right now. So now, right now, um, let me go to Elephant Money. Um, go to the side. So uh, right now, one thing I want to bring up that a lot of people are talking about is the market cap. Um, so now in the past, I know you've talked about uh, the market cap and why it's important, especially having a milestone in the market cap. And I think if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, I think a hundred million was a big, big milestone um, for the market cap. So talk to us about the elephant market cap. Correct. So um, the market cap has been, I think, since the exploit has been as low as like seventy million, maybe lower. Mm -hmm. um, which is a testament to how well the core elephant machinery has held up even under attack. Even mm -hmm. under attack, it preserves a tremendous amount of wealth. And now we're back at 40 million uh, liquidity. And we were at a height of 57 million liquidity before the hack, which put us like above the liquidity for like uh, projects such as Hex, which mm -hmm. had like, uh -oh. many millionaires. Hold on, baby. Tell you talking too fast now. Hold on, now. you you know we all a lot of us are in hex now. <laughs> Real quick, you you kind of brought it up. So just while you're here, um, let's make a comparison of this to hex. Why is this? You just said why elephant is better than uh, Bitcoin. Why is elephant better than hex in your opinion? Well, um, if I die tomorrow, you know, the show would still go on and keep doing what it's doing. Whatever mm. it's doing right now, it would keep on doing, regardless of me. Gotcha. Not so much the case with Hex. And okay. Hex has, I, I think still, frankly, Hex has less liquidity or it will have less liquidity by the end of the year. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. But I, I, all I've been seeing is green from this elephant chart. So, you know, the herd and other people like me, we know what to buy right now. We're really excited about this elephant token um, and what's going on with it. Um, so very good. So now. Um, in, in the chat, please let me know if y'all have any more questions. Please tell me, you know, let us know in the chat. So now, where is Bertha today? Let's talk about Bertha for a moment. Where is Bertha today? Bertha's at 91 million. Mm. Growing at about at least, a, you know, 0. 0.25 or, you know, 0. 0.25 to 0. 0.33 trillion a day Ooh. Ooh, that's <laughs> let's go I'm so I'm excited keep going I don't mean to cut you off back teller keep going but more but more importantly than that mm -hmm. that's Bertha but Bertha doesn't determine the price Bertha she pays out the bills okay but she doesn't determine the price for you and me what determines the price is how many elephant tokens are left in the in the LPs, the liquidity pools. And that's the more exciting story because the liquidity pools are losing more tokens than what mm -hmm. Bertha is getting. And that should make sense because Bertha is only getting 8.5% of every buy. And if people are buying, where are they buying from? The LPs. So the LPs are losing substantially more multiple orders of magnitude more LP tokens mm -hmm. than Bertha is acquiring. So it doesn't matter whether Bertha gets it or whether the community gets it. Either way, the price of elephant is going to go up. Up, And it looked like it, you know, once it starts happening, it's going to start happening like it did last time very, very fast. Uh, so very, I got, very fast. Yeah, man. I got the um all of the top addresses here. So at the top, obviously, is the graveyard. And then um, we got one of the LPs at number two. And I think it's, what is it, 122 trillion? 
And then we got mm -hmm. another LP that's at 86. So that's down. And we got Bertha right there at 91 trillion. Mm -hmm. Very good. So basically, basically, I think you just explained it and cleared that up. I think, you know, <laughs> all of us are just way we, we, we keep our eye on Bertha. Um, but what you said about the liquidity pairs makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, real right. quick, the it, graveyard yeah. balance. The graveyard rebalance is going forward. How is that going to affect us? Mm. At least where we are in terms of the recovery, mm -hmm. it won't reflect, it affect you at all because people are buying and selling through the Buy With Bertha program, which yeah. means that those reflections are going straight to Bertha and not going to the community. So for the community perspective, your tokens aren't growing a lot. I mean, some people buy through Bog Finance or Pancake Swap because they don't know any better. Mm -hmm. But once they become part of the community, they know to buy through Bertha to get the uh, the discount to, to pay 8.5% tax instead of 10% tax. Got you. So thank you for clearing that up. So I, I know y'all heard that right. So for now, in the recovery phase, we're all buying with Bertha. We know we got percentage. Also, join Team Muddy and, and Elephant. Y'all know my uh my address is in the my wallet address is in the description. But buying with Bertha helps the platform recover. Um, and then hopefully pretty soon we get back to getting our reflections. I think that was one of our questions. Uh, I think the herd asked that question. Shout out to him. Uh, so thank you for clearing that up. Thank you for clearing it up. Now let's move over to the other side of things. So you know, with the exploit, we know one of the big issues is that we had a lot of um, issues with the peg and a lot of people were turned off by the peg. But some of us in the herd understand, you know, that the peg is just it's, it's a it's a basically a limited time only. We feel like it's going to get back to peg pretty soon. So we got a lot of stuff going on. We got the redeem. We got the raffle and a whole bunch of stuff that's surrounding on how to get us back to peg and also to help the treasury. So talk us through right now where we are as far as the redeem. Real quick, because I think the list is, I think we got 2,500 wallets, I believe. Two, no, 2,600 wallets. How close are we? Uh, what's the, the process of getting that redeemed down? The redemption queue and how fast it gets serviced is um, a function of how large the elephant treasury gets, Bertha gets. Mm -hmm. um, and people are experiencing that now because even though there's a low set APR in terms of like how many funds are allocated throughout the year to pay out redemptions uh, as a function of the total size of uh, the elephant treasury. Um, I think that might be, I think that's pretty much like at 1%, something really small, one, one to 3%. Okay. Um, that, that can be increased, but even better is that elephant uh, token itself it rises in value and the overall value of the treasury increases. And you'll naturally see an increase in redemptions. And you're already seeing that based Got on the 3x that we've already done. Got you. So now one of the, one of the things that we hear from a lot of people who don't know better or don't do their own research, <laughs> don't know what's going on. Um, they always say win peg. So based on what you've seen so far, especially we'll talk about peanuts in just a moment. Um, not, I know you can't give us exact data, you know, anything like that, but what needs to happen for us to get closer and closer to peg? I think, um, <laughs> and this is gonna, I'm gonna say this in a, you know, <laughs> um, when people are like, ah, I'm rich, like uh, <laughs> you know, freaking elephant made me rich. Like I'm rich, you know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a hundred billionaire owner. I'm a ten, tens of billionaire owner, right? And I'm rich. Period. Like that can't happen without um, the current strategies and contracts in pa in place, uh, correcting the peg. Got it. So everything's kind of laid out, in, but in terms of the peg specifically, mm -hmm. the numbers have been conservatively lowered so that those folks have to wait because you can't pay the peg without getting Bertha up to size. So 
Um, if if we if we made it all linear, for example, mm -hmm. or we made it all equitable, then the money that came in would directly go out to pay the the people holding trunk, the liabilities. Pay, we just pay the liabilities as we got the cash in, mm -hmm. but that doesn't help us build value. It doesn't help us build value. It just helps us pay liabilities. Yeah. Basically, it helps us pay exit liquidity. So what we need to do is we need to take value that's coming in and we need to make sure that that's used to double up or, you know, in compound up in a certain fashion to, to build value. We need to build value and then we need to scrape off the top. We can't do a one for one. If we do a one for one, we will never like this. This is this is for naught because we need to we need to uh, build a temple of value mm -hmm. and then pay out and then and then just simply pay out you know our liabilities as they come. But if you if you don't do but if you're just paying out li liabilities, you know, it's hand to mouth. Like, let, let's keep it a buck. It's like it's it's hand to mouth. If, if, if people aren't familiar with that term, mm -hmm. like if if you just took dollar values in and immediately paid the liabilities, that's just living hand to mouth, and you'll never get ahead. And when things go bad, you're just starving. So no, we we take every single dollar that comes in. And we push it through that constant product slash other innovations to raise the value of the money coming in so that we can like just shave off and pay out the the uh, the trunk liabilities. And again, what pays off the trunk liabilities, y'all, we keep saying is Bertha, am I right, Bay Teller? That's what we once Bertha gets fat, we she could pay off everything. Am I right about that? That's right. That's right. So um, so we're thinking like, so right now Bertha is like around eight million. Uh, yep, I 8. think at the time million, of exploit, at the, at the time of the exploit, Bertha was like around eighty five million. So you know, we needed ten x at least. Gotcha. So. Right now, at ninety-one trillion. That was that was my next question. So, what number do we need to see the elephant treasury at now? I heard some people already say. I think we already flipped a coin. We turned a corner. Um, so the elephant treasury just birth is just growing and growing and growing at a faster rate. Um, what's a comfortable number for us to say? Okay, I think we're back now for the elephant treasury. I think it's going to be very similar to the first time. Actually, I think I think we need to have at least a couple hundred uh, trillion. Um, and then we're safe. Okay, so about two hundred T's. We need two hundred trillion in Bertha for us to feel be feel feeling good. Basically, that's what I'm seeing. Correct. Correct. Gotcha. And, gotcha. and the way the things are moving, the, like timeline wise, mm -hmm. I think we're there. I think you know, as long as we're pulling out one trillion a day from the from the reserves and bringing it into the treasury. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, real quick, let me check with the chat. Uh, shout out to the herd. He said, hey, guys, show some love. Hit that like. Uh, Y'all watching the AMA. This is with Bank Teller, Elephant Money, Trunk, and all that. Hit that like, man. Hit that like. Look at Greg. He said, bing, bing, bing. Listen, listen. Bank Teller, I told him every time somebody buys Elephant during the show, they hit the say bing in the chat. And Gregory all over the place with them. Bing. Shout out to you, Gregory. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right. Um, and Greg also said, I'm so glad you shared your wallet address in the description of the video. Yeah, man. It's all down there, Gregory. Join listen, join Team Muddy. Team that we're gonna we gonna keep going. We're gonna keep building. All right. Uh so Bay Taylor, back to you, man. So I appreciate the clarity on all of that. Now, now let's talk about. I know, you know, early, you know, with the DeFi Degenerate show and Muddy Mo and the Muddy Crypto movement. I was ragging on you when we were going out with Peck. I'm like, we need something else. And then, oh, lo and behold, you come out with something else. Talk to us about peanuts and why it's important for users to get in with peanuts right now. Okay, so so um, in general, Stampede is the front office 
so to speak. It's the, the checking account, the savings account of the Elephant Money uh, Community Bank. And um, so that's, that's why that particular contract is important. So Peanuts enhances the Stampede contract by basically saying, if we're below peg, um, we will pay you a premium based on the current market price to um, help bolster the elephant money treasury, the elephant treasury, mm -hmm. so that it can pay back the redemptions that are required to bring it back to peg. So again, bringing the system back to peg, peg never means to pay one for one dollars that are going out right because that's just providing extra liquidity but it's not providing value so we have to push new funds through the constant product formula to create value right mm -hmm. so we have to push that we have to push the money to the treasury first but once we do that we can pay back our liabilities and bring uh, the trunk token, if it is below peg, back to peg. So uh, that's roughly how the system works. Gotcha. Gotcha. So let, you know how I do it. Let me break it down. Working man, <laughs> blisters on my hand, coming home, calluses on my feet. The regular people. So now, basically, you're telling me if I take BUSD and I come in here under peanuts, it automatically bonds me into the stampede. Not only just that, um, peanut multiplies bonding up to 4x while it's under peg. So while I'm under peg, I'm going to get more, basically, that's going to be bonded for me um, in Stampede. Is that it? No, yeah, that, that's it. That's correct. Now, I'm going to tell you why I like it. I'm just going to tell you why I like it. Because while it's doing that, that's great, right? But just like you said, I see Stampede as a checking account or some kind of savings account with some crazy good APRs when this thing gets back to peg. But not just that. You're getting that 4X, possibly up to 4X right now, but then you're also getting uh, the percentage when it comes in here into the Stampede, getting an extra percentage. That's definitely a money mo. I love peanuts. That's why elephants eat peanuts. We love it. We love it. <laughs> so, um, now did I say that right, or did am I? I don't want to explain it wrong. Did I say that right? That's that's absolutely it. So, like, yeah, it's especially once you know um, you're get uh, basically whatever the whatever the uh, peg currently is, you're getting the inverse of that. So in the case of right now, it's like, you know, around 25 cents or a little bit lower. So you're getting the inverse of that is 4X. So you're getting 4X the buying power for trunk. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes back to peg, like, okay, so you're getting 4X. Okay. I think a lot of people miss this this point okay because you're able to buy forex times the amount of trunk and then you're getting a, a fourth of the apr essentially what you're getting though is the equivalent so what that means is is the way the system is set up with peanuts you can mm -hmm. enter the system at any time and get the same return on your investment. Okay. I don't think anybody's ever talked about this really publicly. Uh, but that is the point. Like, so if in when things are good, you're getting 205% on your investment. 205% on your investment is the same as getting four times the tokens for your investment at a fourth of the APR. It's the same thing. Got you. Got you. Got you. Did y'all catch that? Did y'all catch that? That's some alpha. Y'all like alpha, right? That's some alpha. I'm liking it, BT. I'm liking it. Now, appreciate that explanation. I think I covered all the basics of most of the basics. Um, is there anything else I missed on the basics of where we are right now? Because I got some specific questions. Um, but as far as the overall of where we are, did I, did I miss anything? Nope, that's fine. I mean, you know, we're, we're trying to keep it really simple. 
Yeah. You know, you know, exactly. the, the whole point is that you can enter this system regardless of the market environment. So yeah, we are where we are. Very good. Very good. Now, some other people are interested in something that we didn't get to talk about that I want to take some time to talk about is the raffle. Woo, that raffle. Now, I know you always tell me it's not the detonator that did this. It was, I came up with this back when bankroll was a rocket or something like that. Mm -hmm. so, tell us about the raffle right now. Tell us what's going on with the raffle and give us any updates you got on the raffle. Okay. So um, the raffle is kind of performing. I would say it's in a, in a, in a, it's starting to transition to a different period though, because of what's going on with the, the elephant token itself. Um, so from a, from a raffle perspective though, um, it, it, you know, using peanuts is the best way to enter the raffle. If you want to win from a max depositor perspective, otherwise any, any form of participation that generates, um, $5 worth worth of value going to the treasury you're going to be fine but um but in particular if you if you're trying to be competitive um basically buying as much as you can of 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 a, of a token you're going to you're going to get a a forex multiple and then you're also going to get like 25% extra in terms of competition for winning the extra max depositor to pal uh max depositor account itself so the rap the raffle uh and peanuts uh so forth is a, a really good deal mm -hmm. um we have we had a, a particular player he was talking to me he was, he was literally saying you know i'm trying to get a family member in you know, and the way that I want to maximize the value is I want to try to win the raffle. And he did that like two days in a row. Oh, so he won that large side two days in a row? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Because he, okay. Because he was basically, cause, because here's the thing. As we go more into FOMO with Elephant, mm -hmm. people are just going to be like, it's just so e it's just easier to say, Here's this Bitcoin like token, and you can just buy it. Right. Or I can just even send it to you and you can write me a check. Or you can just buy the dinner for me. You know. But either way, getting elephant is pretty easy. Um, understanding trunk and getting in, into all that is is more complex. So, you know, people are leading with elephant as they should be. And at some point, the buy with Bertha program eclipses, and even it even take and even takes away from the um, the 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 peanuts program and the um, you know. Got you, got you. No, now listen, now listen. Y'all better well up now. Basically, what he's saying is get in his peanuts. If y'all want to well up, y'all want to, y'all want to see some, <laughs> y'all want to see what is it? Forty? Uh, I think somebody got forty k um, worth of this. Probably more, right? If y'all want to well up in this, get in peanuts, man. Get in peanuts and win this raffle, and then you add into this this stampede, um, man. Basically, man, y'all can live off of that. If you want to be honest, you can live off of it. In my opinion, am I wrong, Bank Teller? You with me, Bank Teller? Yeah, this this is life changing games right here. Life changing, life changing. Y'all hear that? Also, y'all watching the AMA with Bank Teller, man. Talking about elephant money. Hit that like. Come on, hit that right like. Look at Gregory. One more. Bing. Look at that. I like that, Gregory. We get more elephant uh, buys as we speak, Bank Teller. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right. So now the raffle. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Now, Bank Teller. You know I brought this up on the Deep Hotter General Show. Appreciate you pulling up on that too. Um, you you we was talking about the miscellaneous side. Um, have you thought about any adjustments that could possibly be going on with this raffle on the miscellaneous side? 
I, you know, um, I think with the whole network, it, it it is a living network. You know, there's um, if you look at the the updates and you look at the published dates for the different contracts as as they are connected to the public facing network. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's constantly evolving, and and that has that has been the um, since since bankroll flow that has been that that has been the I, I hate hate to be repetitive, but that is the flow. You know, since bank, you know, we started this innovation of updating contracts mm-hmm. with bankroll flow. You know, where where it was not just a single contract that did everything. So, so like in DeFi, if even if you look at like um, if you look at Drip, mm-hmm. if you look, okay, so so Drip in, inherits just a little bit from Flow. So there is that concept of a, a network of contracts, but in general, if you look at uh, Drip, or if you look at um, uh, any of the minor contracts, those are just like single, single contracts operating in the wild mm-hmm. that define the be- you know behavior for you know what's supposed to happen when a person interacts with the contract. Uh, whereas um, something like Flow or uh, or Stampede in particular, mm-hmm. Elephant in particular, you know. The network of contracts uh, in the current state they're in determines the performance. If any one of those contracts changes, you know, we're going to get a different outcome. And I, I think the most, I think the thing that like jumped out to me is um, there's a finite amount of permissions that we can leave on the elephant token. So when you add too many permissions to the elephant token, guess what? The whole system just seizes and throws throws an exception. That happened in production. So there's a there's a, a, a top cap of how many tokens can participate in permissions for you know generating um, yield from the elephant money ecosystem. Got it. Got it. Um, got one question in the chat. Shout out to Brian. Look at Brian pulling it. That's my dog. He is. He come all the time. One of the regulars. Um, but he asked about um, basically, in your opinion, about whale sentiment on this max side of the raffle. We'll kind of go back. Um, have you seen any, especially since you know elephant to tokens been going up recently? Um, have you seen any change in sentiment amongst whales for this uh, max deposit side? Not, not really. I mean, I think, I think whale. Uh... Well, large participants in the overall cryptocurrency space have a, a lot to think about, mm-hmm. and they have to be very overall. I think the best ones need to be fairly conservative with their capital allocations. So, I'm pretty pleased with the amount of participation of date of late, okay. and 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 hopefully, I think that that amount of participation is simply because they want to lean on uh, more of the long term potentials for profitability gotcha yeah okay good stuff good stuff now we know let, let's talk now now you hear me you know how i am back teller let's talk so we know um that through you know this contract and you being the lead developer and all of that stuff that you are also a participant through this contract and other uh, contracts in the space so one specifically people are asking about is venus um we know you're involved in some other smart contracts so basically, what's going on? What's the update on that? And people just want to know kind of what's going on with the Venus side of stuff and how's that going to help uh, Elephant Money? Okay, so so I think even less than 30 days, I was in Venus um, and I was leveraging that for a localized pump in the market. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think a lot of people, a lot of people, not just in our space, in our sort of niche of the space, but like are talking about or had were, were talking about the the mini pump the mini pump that was happening you know mm-hmm. so it was was it a dead cap dead cat bounce probably it was like pretty much a dead cat bounce okay and um 
during that time, you know, I, I made a little bit of D&D. Um, I probably broke even with BTC and L in Ethereum. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I was able to cash out, basically establish positions, earn, buy more uh, elephant specific assets. Okay. And then liquidate. And then like liquidate on purpose, like like liquidate my own position as opposed Got to being liquidated, right? So mm -hmm. I, I wasn't liquidated, um, but I, I basically divested from those uh, positions and and right now I am a hundred percent all elephant. Okay. And and my main my and this might be next, uh, another question, but like my main income is coming from other DeFi projects that I'm invested in. Got you. Got you. Now, you know how I do. I, if you want to talk about it, we can talk about it. But if not, uh, I think you did answer the question roughly about, because people just asking about the, I know you're talking about the Venus, um, I think the deployer. Um, so I think people just asking that. So I think you answered that. Um, now, what, how, how are you living right now? What, what contracts are you eating off of right now? <laughs> Um, I basically use like I'm, I'm I'm not even gonna lie. So okay, so since day one, day day one, mm -hmm. because and when I say day day one is like it's gonna be very simple to explain. Basically, before there was drip, mm -hmm. there was nothing. Right. What I mean by that is there was nothing on Binance Smart Chain of consequence. You wanted to invest in something on Binance Smart Chain, you were gonna lose money. So before drip, there was nothing, and the only action was on uh, a very sickly bankroll flow, mm. right? So, so bankroll flow uh, was is is sort of father of the of, of the um, cash flow for all contracts. Mm -hmm. Now you have Furio, and you have Ooze, and you have uh, H&W, and you have Drip, and you know so forth. Yeah, and they're all they're all working to a certain extent. Okay. I will personally say, <laughs> come on, give me that exclusive. <laughs> and I've I've said this from the very beginning that like. Especially when when Drip came out, I was like, okay, yeah, you fixed the, the small issues that I had with that contract. So, yeah, I agree with you. It's a cyclical contract, and you're mm -hmm. seeing that. Like, basically, it can have a large run-up, and they can come down, but then they can come back up, and vice versa. You're seeing, that's, you're seeing that with, like, and now with, like, say, Furio, you're, you're absolutely seeing that that can happen. Like you can massage the basics around how the system works, um, you know, to to produce the desired result, which is longevity. Gotcha. Right? So, so, and you, and I say you're nice. That, I'm trying oh, to hear wait, it straight up. <laughs> wait, hold on. But I say all that without bankroll flow is still running. People like I. I, I personally get pissed off like like I have I'm not naming any names <laughs> I really uh, but you already know who they are like, I'm not naming any names but like like I will go into the bankroll chat and I will see my own admins my people who have been with mm. me for like five years and I will just be like why are you even here do you know when, do you not know what we're trying to do right now uh, and they're up in bankroll chat talking about bankroll flow shit, <laughs> which doesn't <laughs> that matter. But bankroll flow is still paying. <laughs> People are like, yeah, I got like five contracts and I'm collecting blah, blah, blah. So I was just like, somebody shoot me now. I'm like, shoot me now. But get out. They got to get out the past, though, man. Tell them. We got it so much in front of us right now. I don't whatever. Exactly. They're like getting the past. Like, like, you ain't making no money. You, okay. <laughs> right, right. All right. You're like, you're talking about, you're like, yeah, I'm milking bankrupt. Like, yeah, but you're like, you're covering your car payment. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, right. No, stop. 
Right. We're trying to get out of here, man. Okay, now, real quick, that just brings me to something else. We're not kind of jumping around, but um, there's been some sayings that you were, I, I want to get this right, that you were looking into some other influencers. So let's talk promo for a second, because I know you said you're going to do something for the for the promoters and all of that stuff. So now, I think a lot of people that heard want to promote all these contracts and everything that we're doing right now. Um, but what is there any updates on this new promoter? I don't know, to be named. Um, person that you're trying to reach out to to help uh, the project out? No one is specific, but more just like uh, just the next level. Like, man, so you're trying to go viral? Just say it, man. Tell you, I'm trying to go viral. Just say it. Just say it. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're trying to go. We're trying to go viral. <laughs> and I'll just give you an example. Like, when it comes to like uh, Coinbase, for example. Mm-hmm. Nas got Nas got rich off of that, mm. but what's the point? Nas was early. Nas was Nas was in New York City, right? Mm-hmm. Connected, you know, Queensbridge Capital, whatever the hell his thing is called. Mm-hmm. That that's nice and all, you know. We we see we see we see Snoop, we see Dr. Dre. We see uh, Jay Z just like billionaire, billionaire magic on top of billionaire magic, just getting plugged into everything. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, that's great. That's good for y'all. Okay. But like, you know, how can you apply that star power and all that stuff, but also just help pump our bags? There you go. Ooh, big teller thinking big. I like that. That definitely gets a money mo. Bing. Ain't no limits. Ain't no limits. Now, right. as far as the herd right now, because I think a lot of them um want to help. You know, we got some promoters, you got some smaller promoters. What can we do within the community right now to help? Just keep just keep doing what you're doing. You know, as, as far as like these larger players and stuff, you know. I'm just I'm presenting them with the opportunity, and it's not going to be like some like random like Kim Kardashian SEC shit like where like oh you're pr- promoting a Ponzi scheme blah, 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 or something to make money. No, we're making money. Mm. Uh, so probably off the bat, like none of these guys are going to join us. I'm not giving tokens to nobody. They're gonna okay. have to buy that shit. Make them buy hey. it. Hey, <laughs> come on. Where that money at? Where that? Where that? Make them buy it. Nothing wrong with that. I hear, I hear you on that. You want to buy? Okay. You because because it, and and if they if they buy it, then that that relinquishes us of all responsibility. They bought it on the open market. It's whatever. They're just they're just shilling their bags like everybody else, leaving them the hell alone. You know. Gotcha, so gotcha. that's. That's my take. But at the same time, this is different. Like, this is different than anything else. Like, we're literally printing the same chart because we said we were going to print the same chart. Like, we've done our homework. We know how this is going to play out. We're printing the same goddamn chart. So, all right, do you want to, like, absolutely be a part of positive change or not that's the that's the question that's the ask to the new larger participants and it comes at a time where everything else is failing where stock market is failing mm. uh, cryptocurrency market is failing mm. uh, real estate market is failing mm. um, like keep going I keep going you hot like, right now <laughs> this what we're doing is it yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. And and I think you kind of summed it up right there. This is it, you know. So, you know, you gotta believe in it, man. You know what I mean? Like, so I think that's good. Now, um, real quick while we're at it, also if y'all want to be a part of Team Muddy, y'all want to be a part of a herd team, my all my information is in the description of this video. Come on and join the herd and the team muddy, man. It's right here. Um, talk about this partner um this partner uh herd network right here. I know that's important. Um, talk to us about that really quick and how it's different. Because I I love how you know users can change teams if they want to. So you got to be right as a team leader. But tell me how that works. 
Right. I mean, it's really simple. Like uh, the way the way the herd program is designed is to incentivize people who are actually putting in the work. And the only way that you're going to make real money is if you do it at scale. So once you get to like, you know, close to over 50, 100 participants, then even that 0.5% is going to make a material difference for you. Otherwise, it's not. Like in other programs, they'll charge an exorbitant amount um, just for you to adding one person. They'll They'll give you you know, 10% on that person's income, which mm -hmm. literally hurts the person coming in, if especially if they're trying to dig out of a certain situation. Um, that's not the case with elephant money. Like, we charge a very nominal percent. So what that means is the incentive is for you to bring in as many people as possible as, as, as opposed to being predatory with, like, just a handful of people. Bang Taylor, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I, you really put a lot of thought into this because you know what? I it makes a lot of sense. And then we all like to grow teams, you know, we like the community build up here. But I think what you just said here, it makes it anti-predatory with this herd partner network. I think that's important. That definitely gets some money more bing. Y'all know how that is. That's fire. Also, man, make sure I hit that like. Don't mean here no hit that like now. Um, but I think that's um that's really good and it's different. Um, I don't think it, did you pull that from another project? I haven't even seen that around too much. Where did you pull that from? That's just me. Man, go ahead and brag then, Bank Teller. Dang, you can't brag. You're supposed to brag, man. <laughs> 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 good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, okay, so cool. I think that, that kind of covers all of that. That was my questions about that. Um, so you still are you still flying to LA to try to uh get amongst the stars? That's <laughs> you still busting that move. Yeah, that that yeah, that's gonna happen in in the fall. Yep, for sure, for sure. <laughs> okay, hey, bring money with you. You know, <laughs> no, this is what I'm <laughs> bring somebody with you. We gonna get it lit out there, in LA. You know, oh, very good, very good. So, is there anything that um that we didn't talk about? Oh, also, real quick, um, so to, just to be sure, just to be sure I'm clear, to buy elephant tokens right now, the best place to do it is through um the elephant money site and to buy with Bertha, correct? Correct, correct, yep. And one of the best ways, if you want to get into Stampede, or the best way to get into Stampede right now is through Peanuts also. Is that correct? Yep. Very good, yep. very good. Good stuff, man, good stuff. So that's I think that's a lot of the present stuff. Now I want to kind of jump into, you see, we started with the past. We talked about some present stuff, and I want to jump into the future, and then I'm going to let you go. Also, Chad, if y'all got questions, I'm going to let y'all ask Bank Teller some questions. He done knocked that Wendy's out. He feeling good. <laughs> then we talking about this good stuff that's going on. Um, especially, I, I do want to talk about the parabola and you know some things that we're looking forward to. Um, but overall, is there anything in the present day? Oh, also the UI. Um, tell us a little bit about the UI. How far are you and where are you with the UI chain? Okay, so uh, I might have hyped up. <laughs> I, I, there's a miscommunication with the e UI. Um, I'll, I'm really just trying to push put together a more presentable homepage, a landing page for the site. Okay. Um, the UI itself is, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Like, you know, the UI works. You know, I, I still am a fan of trying to provide a, a light dark theme for the UI. Okay. Nice. Which, which I will probably can do continue to do by myself for that. Um, but right now, I, I did employ a uh, designer and a, a front page, uh, front page developer to take the current homepage that we have, just spruce it up a bit, gotcha. using the same theme, and and throw, and throw that together. So that that's what I'm trying to present right now. And along with that, there'll be a press release page because we're going more hard PR. Uh, nice. I think I think overall, I think overall between um, I sincerely think uh, I sincerely think that uh, community participation 
and um, word, of mar- word of mouth marketing is the way that we're going to break through, you know, and that's just a basic geometric progression. So like if every single person who's a part, every single active participant that's a part of uh, uh, Elephant Money right now, if they just bring on one more person, then we're easily within like a, a certain short time frame. We're going to be able to do a double. And we do that one more time, you know, then we, in terms of participants, we are like right in the top 20. So that's really what it's about. Got you. Got you. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, so for me, this this uh, is usable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I'm just used to it. Um, it looks decent now. I mean, it don't look bad now. Uh, but I think, you know, had you said the landing page right now, this is the landing page, correct? The dashboard? Uh, yeah, for Elephant. Yep. For Elephant. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, so cool. So, yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Um, I like the like dark, like dark option. You know what I mean? Because for me, it changes. So that's cool. That's pretty cool, too. Okay, babe, tell us how to make stuff look good. I see you. I see you out there. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, um, real quick while I got you, I want to talk about the future. Um, I think we we kind of beat down the present, what you're working on right now, um, where we are, what we're trying to do. We're trying to build that that birthday. We're trying to do all these different things. Um, and then we're gonna take we're gonna get up out of here. Real quick, before you said, you know, you were on the show. Shout out to you coming on the D Fighter Gym show with Muddy Mo. You said a hundred billion would be, be a decent amount of elephant, right? Now I know you can't be specific and all of that stuff, not financial advice and all that, but Right now, are you still thinking 100 billion is a good amount of elephant to hold, or what's a, another amount that you think that people could shoot for? I think we're still, we're definitely still in a 100 billion range because we're still in a 100 billion range. Like, and literally, that should be the goal no matter what. Like, 100, 100 billion is $10,000. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can scale from there. So, but a uh, hundred billion will make you a millionaire. A thousand dollars, you know, a hundred billion is ten thousand dollars. That will make you, you know, ten, you know, uh, hundred. A thousand dollars will translate to a a hundred thousand dollars where we're minimally going. So that's how I'm working the math out. Gotcha, gotcha. So y'all hear that? 100, 100 bees is gonna take listen. Heard I need y'all to buy a birthday, join Team Muddy, and go on and buy a birthday so we can get on up to 100 billion. Y'all see, we just we men on we working on it. 100 billion of them things should do you do you some justice. All right, so shout out to you for that, Bank Taylor. Um, good alpha right there, good alpha right there. Also in the chat, give me y'all questions y'all got for Bank Taylor while I while I, while I got them here, man. Give me all your questions. Um, we just want to talk. Um, Red Claw said uh one trillion is to go. Okay, Red Claw. One truly was 3K, now it's 100K. Okay, shout out to you, Red Claw. Um, so, Bank Teller, so is, is it, are you going to do anything special for like the Trilly Club or something like that? Did they get a plaque or something? Like <laughs> what is the Trilly Club? Or did you get the gains, I guess? Um, the Trilly Club is responsible for holding the fort down. Okay. Trilly Club is responsible for, um, the Trilly Club is responsible for, Making sure that the Billy Club becomes millionaires as well. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like how you put that, Bank Teller. Definitely a muddy mo. I like how you put that. Right now, yeah. I mean, we got a Trilly Club. Is that what is it? We got forty-two. So it looks like about thirty-seven in the Trilly Club. Okay. Yeah. So, like you know, like uh, I'm, I'm not even trying to. Well, you know me. I'm I'm, I'm pretty. I, I I shoot from the hip. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to be all. I'm not, I'm not trying to be your friend. I'm trying to make you rich. There you go. So so like, look. It, our responsibility is to make sure that this train keeps on going, and the Shirley Club is most instrumental in that. Um, but at the same time, you know, birth is going to be greedy, greedy at the same time. So you want to sell, yeah. she's going to get it. Got you, got you. So if you're in the Chili Club, you want to stay in the Chili Club. <laughs> Gregory say Chili Club equals uh Roth Childs and the Carnegies. There you go, there you go. Gregory, know what's up? He's not saying, wrong, not wrong. That, yeah, man, getting that Chili Club. That's what's up. That's what's up. 
Um, so yo, very good, very good. So yeah, we got I think it's uh, thirty seven right now. Um, as y'all know, hey, keep putting them bings in the chat every time somebody buys elephant money. I've been seeing a lot of bings. That's people buying it, man. Um, so yeah, thanks for that, man. So I think, um, to me, if we get uh, about fifty more people in the Trilly Club, I don't know how if that's possible right now, even with the, the um, with the supply. It's possible as long as it's there. As long as the as long as, as, there, as yeah. the funds are in the liquidity pool, it is there. <laughs> Now, what that means for what they have to pay is a different story, but like, right, right. Now would be a good time. Now would be a very good time. Get it cheap. <laughs> Y'all better go get it cheap. Y'all better go get it cheap. Very good. Very good. Right, so give me some good news, man. Give me some other good news. Give me some insights. Give me some, uh, some new alpha, man. I know you got something up your sleeve, man. What's new? I actually, like, to be honest, I don't, which is good, which is very good for you guys. It means that like everything I've ever said up until this now is true. Everything we said tonight is true. Uh, and what does that mean? That means that like, okay, like, okay, so the alpha really is, okay, you have to think about this based on, you know, everything that we've ever been through in public markets. Mm -hmm. Like right now is the best time for 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 new participants like you don't want to get your friends and family you don't want to get your mom your uncle whoever your cousin your friend Kyle yeah you, know, you don't want to get them in six six months from now because the way the math is actually working so here's the alpha the way the math is working mm -hmm. and you know I got my math tubers you know I got my fuck oh sorry I hate the curse but like I'm I'm you're Gen good, X. So I, good. I'm Gen X. I'm Gen X. I curse. I'm sorry. I'm Gen, like I, I actually found this out like a couple days ago. They're like, yeah, Gen X is curse. I'm like, I like I don't have no problem cursing. I curse all the time. <laughs> I curse all the time. So like I'm like, but yeah, Gen X is curse. Like that's how we grew up. So um, listen, you get this ba look, you get this uh Alpha Treasury up, you get it <laughs> get us rich, we don't care. You curse all you want. Good. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, you know, the Gen Zs, oh my God. Little, little snowflake fairy. Oh my God. Like, ugh. Jesus. I can't, I, I, I can't stand sometimes. But anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, so it is what it is. Like, now is the time. And uh, yeah, you're gonna be rich. Like if you get in, you get in with like a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, you're good. Or above, you're good. And that's just the way it is, based on the pure math. I can't, I can't swing any other way. And I'm cool with that. And just because of my birthday and stuff, I'm like, I'm just really lazy. I don't feel like working at all. <laughs> right. You know, so I'm like, I'm struggling with like HTML. Like, I'm like, literally have to like edge a couple tags to get this all working. It was like, Ugh. see, they tell you, listen, don't have that birthday hangover. <laughs> we got a two week birthday hangover. <laughs> we ready to listen. We about to take off, man. We ready to go. We need you. <laughs> you still, you're feeling good. I guess that's, I guess that's the other alpha because, like, in terms of like what's next. I think personally, like in the next, I say I would probably say, not six months, but but next year, mm -hmm. so Q one twenty twenty three. I will have been working with a new sort of front end team and a new marketing team and or expanded marketing team, and uh, yeah, there'll be a whole new website and all this stuff in educational materials. And right. we have education materials built up by the community right now, but like just super refining all those. I mean, what you'll probably find is you'll have some of your favorite um, people that are a part of the community right now, like a SK Crypto K or even a um, Crypto Slow or whoever, or maybe even yourself. Like, um, but you'll have um, like sort of Hollywood. Hollywood or Atlanta level 
uh, uh, production talent, you know, assisting you in making something that scales to not just the U.S., but like globally. And you said, yeah, shout out to Crypto Slow, shout out to SK, shout out to who else talks about it? Crypto Questions, <laughs> Elephant and Herb. But yeah, you know Muddy Mo. Bachelor, sign me up. <laughs> sign me up. Yes, yes, definitely Muddy Mo. Uh, but no, that's, that, I think that's dope, man. That's really good. Um, I had another question for you. Um, somebody asked about um, basically uh, what do you think about um, as far as like large, larger firms like a Fidelity or some other firms like that or other groups. Um, what do you think about them coming into the space, especially since we're seeing a lot of upside right now? Uh, I, I love it. I love it. Um, uh, I can't name names, but mm -hmm. Fidelity execs are definitely up in the house. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. With their wallets. Let's go. Um, Buy our bags. <laughs> and, um, Yo. and uh, there probably is more to come there. Okay. Okay. Nice. Now, if the community, I know the community has, you know what I'm saying? They have, you know, friends, colleagues, and rich granddaddies and uncles or whatever. Um, is there I should, a... Uh, I should probably, okay, so, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I should probably make... Uh, this, is, this is true alpha. I'm going to, like, break that down for you. So, um, like all technology, mm -hmm. you guys remember the flip phone or the, the flip or the the one that like kind of like you know had a keyboard and a screen and all that stuff was that I feel it was a flip. The sidekick. You talking about the sidekick? Side kick. Yeah. Side kick. There you go. Sidekick. Is there a sidekick now? Um, uh, man, I don't even know. I don't think so. Yeah. No. No. There's not. There's no, no sidekick now. There's just the iPhone, right? Right. Bitcoin is a sidekick. Hmm. Okay, okay. What's the elephant? You said so Bitcoin is a sidekick. Okay, Gregory said the smart uh, the, the Blackberry. <laughs> Bitcoin is the Blackberry. <laughs> okay, whatever, but what's elephant? Yeah. I'm asking, what is elephant? Oh, it's gotta be the iPhone right now. I would think. A uh, financial vehicles? Yeah. All right. And and now you know I got the biggest the biggest store in exist. Ex I'm not trying to make my own store. I'm trying to make a, a elephant store. Fuck, excuse me, Gen Xer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you good, man. You good, man. Uh, no, yeah, no, no. I'm not trying to make a elephant store. I'm trying to get the let's all get money store. Like uh -huh. so, no. Yeah, uh -huh. so so, uh, and I'm ex Fidelity. Uh, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, Fidelity. Um, now, Bateau, like I say, if some people want their company or a friend of a college, whatever, um, to be a part of this on a mass scale, should they contact you directly? What's the best thing to do? If they what? If they if they want a high, have some, you know, some. Basically, a group of whales or hedge guys or whatever that might want to be interested. What should they do? They should. Uh, they should responsibly and individually take positions. Now, if it's a firm and they're doing a large allocation. Mm -hmm. Then they they should dollar cost average, Easy and that way. would be the best. And that would be the best way. Like like just do, just dollar cost average, and you can't lose. Like um, now, going all like I really again do your own research. Not fantasy advice. I can't advocate for you just to go all in. It um. I personally kind of did that <laughs> with my last <laughs> last bit of cash, but I definitely didn't, didn't do that with my my whole allotment. Mm -hmm. I dollar cost average in, and then by the time we got to where we are, like I mean, the system has to prove itself, and the problem is is that it's proved itself 
like now twice. Like we're we're back where we were. We're, we're back. back. Where we were. <laughs> we're like like we're literally back where we were. We're and the reason why we're having this AMA right now is not just to be having this AMA. Like this is literally because Muddy and myself, like we we care about our communities. We care about what's going on. You know, we know what's going on uh, from a macro perspective and, and that is like shit's bad out here, you know? Yep. Yep. And, and, you know, and um, the herd is mathematically proven, proven by the charts, pro- on every single metric, every single trackable metric that you can think of. The herd has literally proven that we take care of each other. Look at the chart. Every mm. single distribution, every time somebody actually sells, they're paying for something, they're taking care of business, whatever. Yeah. That's happening. That's real. Mm. That's it's deep, not, man. That's it's, deep. Not just, it's not just the chart going up. Look at the last parabola. The last parabola, people taking distributions all the way up the chart. People are selling all up the chart and using that money for whatever. And we're literally doing that again. Right. Literally, to, and, and when I say that, it's like, okay, if you look at peanuts, like peanuts right now, right, right now is like undersubscribed. Why is it undersubscribed though? Because people are smart and people are just saying, you know, I'm just going to go all elephant. As you should, because you're here right now. That won't always be the case. But that is the case right now. The, the case right now is that you are in the know. You know to buy the shares of the stock of this company that's going to take this organization, that's going to take care of everyone. Like, you know, we, before maybe it was growing wheat, but now it's like, Literally grow an elephant, you can buy wheat, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever you else you want. Got you, man. But until I got a couple, more, I'm got one or two more questions. I'm gonna let you go, please, y'all in the chat. We coming up on two hours. I'm trying to get him out of here before two hours. He gave us all this alpha, man, all this good stuff going on, man. Y'all go, hey, listen, he just told you about the elephant, and we need to own the elephant. Everybody listening right now, we need to own the elephants. It's gonna get crazy. <laughs> So make sure you own some. All right. Got a question for you, Bantella, real quick. Earlier, you said something to the effect of we were talking about advertising. And I think it was in your chat, in the Telegram chat. And you said something to the effect of Tesla not spending on any advertising, right? Um, so as far as you know, what, what you got going on here, I know you kind of want to go the same direction. What I will bring up, though, is Tesla spends the most on R&D, research and development. So I guess where... Is elephant money in the midst of that kind of thought thought process since you brought up Tesla? I mean, we're obviously transitioning to a point where you know we have a working um, machine. This is just like a the way you want to think about elephant is the way you want to think about a, any green leaf plant. Hmm. You with me so far? I'm with you. So like, you know, what makes a green leaf plant green? Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what makes a green leaf plant green. Mm. That's a fucking universal... Sorry for being a Gen Xer. <laughs> Talk to him. That's, that's, a, that's a standard mechanism for, you know, for how the... Literally, the whole planet works. That's how we get oxygen into the air. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. So you wouldn't think of any uh, cash flow system and um, frankly I, as, as funny as it sounds um, I haven't actually given it a name mm. for anything for, for how the actual elephant system works. I can describe it I can say what it means. Like I can say, well, I basically, I build, 
I build um, growth and value in a scarce asset, and I, I, I build e I build a system to make sure that it remains scarce. And then mm -hmm. I scrape off yield, but I haven't given that a name in the same sense that like you know maybe like a, a elephant or or sorry uh, a stampede or a drip or a bankroll flow. Oh, those are just cash flow for all systems. You know, those are just. Those are, those are flow systems. Those are flow systems. I, I should say. Oh, oh. Dude, are you gonna take that word back? Hold on, man. Tell me. <laughs> a flow system. Wait, wait, wait. No, are you yeah, reclaiming that? What are we? What are we doing right now? <laughs> those are all flow systems. Like you know, whether it's Drip or Furio or whatever. I, I mean, I've said that publicly many times. Those, those are flow based systems. <laughs> those are th those are cash flow for all flow based systems, like that. That's common knowledge. Like I mean, you know, I don't really beat the drum on that, you know, because you know, I, I it, it's a free market system. You know, people can vote with their feet. They can vote with their wallet. You know, they can invest in whatever they want. You know, mm -hmm. and um, at the end of the day, you know, as much as uh, I will say this, as much as you know, misguided 30 year olds like Forex want to vilify me. Like, I know what the fuck I'm doing. And like, I am a uh, advocate for the space. And I personally want everybody to participate and win, whether they be on the producer side or the consumer side, I don't care. Like, I want us to come with a solution. I don't need for my solution to be the solution. Um, at the same time, I'm going to be as competitive as fuck because I'm a champion. Okay. Listen, listen. Compete. Take that. Listen. Take the word back, man. Tell I like that. No, that's your word. No. You put flow of a system. Your system it flows, right? All, through, all the elephant treasure, all of that. That's a flow. I like that. Take that word back. That's your word. <laughs> oh, take that back. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, So, Beto, that's pretty much all I got, man. I appreciate you sitting down with us man again y'all watching the ama with bank teller elephant money elephant got them bags yeah y'all know this muddy mo bank tell us give us give us a little bit more closes out man whatever else you want to leave us with feel free man i hey hey if anyone's hearing this right now if you're hearing my voice congratulations if you've taken action definitely well if you hear my voice and you haven't taken action you're still broke. No, like no, no just kidding. <laughs> but like, but if you have taken action in any kind of way, then congratulations to you. We're all in this together, and um, yeah, it's it's just a really exciting. I mean, we're re literally re reliving the the spring, the spring of proper elephant money, with like a fully blown. Uh, uh, a fully a fully blown stampede and an elephant token and everything and treasury and and all the mechanisms firing on all cylinders and now we're even we're back better than ever and um um I I, I wish there was a conservative way to say that you could participate um but I don't know if there is I I think or the most conservative way is okay. The most conservative way we can participate is at least put in a hundred bucks because when we have one hundred x, you're gonna have ten thousand dollars. Okay, okay, I like that. Hundred dollars, a Benjamin, a Benji, wherever you at, hundred euro, whatever you, whatever it is, put a hundred in. Ten x, hundred. Mm -hmm. What is hundred x? Get a hundred thousand. Oh, uh, ten thousand. I like that. Uh huh. I like that. That's a very because simple. Y'all oh, know how we like simple stuff. Hundred dollars. That's our simple goal. Our simple goal. Our simple goal. Community wide, everyone participating, the largest influencers, people in Hollywood, who are ready to join and and, and put in significantly more money because they're 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 trying to turn they're trying to turn a uh, hundred thousand dollar investment into ten thousand mm. dollars. So. Um, yeah, um, 
just just get it just get in now with whatever like don't you can be skeptical that skepticism should scale down your investment right but right. but you should get in with something you should get in with something because we've already been hit we've already been tested you know we're not we're not trying to make friends we're trying to make millionaires oh Oh, and Banks, I always say, don't wait and hate. People go, oh, I'm waiting on this. No, I ain't no waiting. Get on in here. Stop playing. Get on in here. Don't wait and hate and be a part of history, man. Come on, be a part of history. Bank Teller, I appreciate you. BT, pull it up on us. I appreciate you, man. Listen, we're going to be tracking. We're going to be doing our promo. We're going to buy at least 100 hours worth, and we're going to be making sure we join Team Muddy on the herd because, you know, that's a team that gives back. <laughs> Link is in the description below. Uh, Bank Teller, we appreciate you coming on, man. Yep, thank, thank you very much. Definitely use Muddy's, uh, Muddy's, Muddy's address uh, for for the herd uh, partnership. Um, it's 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 folks like this that uh, make all the difference when it actually matters. When we when when we uh, six months from now, that's nothing is going to matter. We're we're just going to blow up. So it's all about right, right now. It's all about right, not not just right, right now, but Muddy, uh, in particular, you know, has been with us since the very beginning. Very since beginning. Before Elephant, before Elephant, before Bankroll, yeah. Even so, <laughs> like uh, you guys, if you're hearing this right now, and if you're a a, a Muddy subscriber, you're in very good hands. Like, you know, this is like, this is the birth of hip hop. This is the birth of new money. This, you know, this is everything. Okay. So, um, thank you, Mary, hey, and thank you, everybody. That's a else. Fact, thank you. Hey, but you know, you, hold on. You ain't about to get out here about give me, give you a muddy mo. Bing. Two more of things. Bing, bing. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's appreciate those kind of words. But I hope y'all heard Bank Teller, man. My uh my wallet address is in the description, man. Come on, join this team on this herd team, and you can get more too. We're gonna be people helping people, people helping people, and everything that Bank Teller just said, man, is some definitely some alpha, man. We appreciate y'all, man. We're gonna sign off, man. Y'all know where to check Bank Teller. Check Bank Teller in the Elephant Money Telegram or in, in the Discord. I think he's more you more on the Telegram, right? Bank Teller. TG, yep. Yep. Check him out on TG. Also, come on, check out us in the Muddy Crypto Movement. That link is in the description as well. Um, we got another TG. All right. Now, man, appreciate you, man. Tell him, man, go enjoy your night, man. Go enjoy your evening, man. Dope and man. Love it, man. Appreciate it. All right. I have uh I have Stranger Things season three waiting for me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hey, did did you watch the um you watched the Game of Thrones, the new Game of Thrones? I forget the name of it. No, I have that too. I have that too. I okay. have that too. I gotta finish I gotta finish, finish Stranger, Stranger Things first. But I have that too. I am so excited. I like I I like I literally I said like Stranger Things came out and my ex-wife was she was like, Oh, you should watch Stranger Things Love. I'm like, ah, no, I'm yeah. saving it. <laughs> I'm saving it. Like yep. I'm saving it till what I really deserve it, and now like this make this makes total sense. Like like I'm enjoying I'm enjoying Stranger Things right now. Perfect timing, perfect timing. <laughs> Some say you lucked up this perfect timing. I love it. I love it. All right, man. Y'all let Bates go and enjoy Stranger Things, man. We'll see y'all, man. Also, check out Muddy Mo, man. We got the Deep Out of Jitter show coming back tomorrow. Got some special guests on that with that. But y'all check us out, man. All right, man. Y'all want to hear more? Stay tuned. Beep.